The Freight Forwarders Solutions is a new business unit within the Freight Forwarders uh, group of businesses that have been operating in Kenya and through East Africa for more than 80 years. Under the FF brand, um, we've been operating since the 1970s and for the first time with the introduction of this business unit, Freight Forwarders Solutions, we're able to offer our customers an end-to-end -end, uh, logistics solution from the Port of Mombasa through primary transport to Nairobi to uh, inventory in this facility, inventory management and storage and then secondary distribution to the local market. Because this was a new venture for the company, getting the contract logistics specs absolutely right was, was essential. So we went with this plan, offer master plan arrangement. So first of all, the fact that ALP were operating within a master plan, Tartu Rendeva framework suited us very well. But the thing that really clinched it for us was the specs, the specifications of the facility that were being offered by ALP. And very, very importantly, ALP's uh, background as a developer. Logistics needs to move out of its traditional centres in the Mulalongo and the industrial area. Uh, it is happening globally. Logistics is moving out of city centres and, and we felt we needed to be part of that, that next wave of logistics thinking. So the location of, of uh, ALP within the Tartu framework on the northern side of Nairobi, but close to uh, all of the Nairobi infrastructure uh, suited us very, very well in terms of our planning. I think we're very, very pleased with the, with the relationship with, with ALP. I think it goes beyond a, a simple landlord-tenant relationship and it goes beyond the, the simple specs of this warehouse. I think ALP have been more of a business partner and I think that's been their approach rather than just being a, a landlord. We meet very regularly, we discuss challenges in the industry uh, and ALP from a senior management down to the operating level have been very, very supportive of everything we do and, and very quick to respond. The specifications for this facility, for this site, are of international standard. It is a grade A facility that is the best uh, in class in East and Central Africa, without doubt. It is head and shoulders the best operating um, facility uh, there is in the region and I know what I'm talking about because I've, I've been doing logistics in this part of the world for 25 years and this is the best thing I've seen. You get a lot of pushback when you talk about this environment, particularly around cost, uh, that the space is expensive, which it is, but you've got, to, you've got to understand what the comparison is. So the general standard of warehousing uh, in this country in the logistics market is pretty poor and it hasn't changed probably in 20 years. The general model is concrete floor, uh, concrete walls, Mabati roof, um, as basic as can be, and generally in a modular, uh, a modular fashion, where you rent space pretty cheaply by the square foot. Uh, here, you are getting a, exactly what it says on the packet. This is a grade A facility. Now, most of Kenya's warehousing is not even second tier. It's more like third or fourth tier in terms of the standards internationally. This is grade A international standard. And essentially you get what you pay for. And I, I believe that the industry uh, and our customers are tired of the same old, same old. Really poor options, um, not great quality, uh, with inventory standards being compromised. And that is a regular, regular feedback that we get from customers. Um, the effect of bringing customers into this facility and showing them around has an absolute wow effect. I'm very conscious of the what I call brand association and I love the idea that we're here with, with some other big companies. We believe that what's good for us is what's good for ALP and ALP have the same view, what's good for them is good for us as well. So in terms of the quality of the, the specs, the support structure that they have within their business and their senior team flexibility and, and business friendly approach, I think honestly we couldn't be happier. We're absolutely delighted with the relationship. Um, they have an excellent business partner approach rather than just um, a kind of vendor approach that we're selling space. Uh, and for that, for that, for us, has been excellent. Well, this is a very, very big facility. It's probably the biggest of its kind uh, in Kenya, probably East Africa. This uh, facility is 14,000 uh, square meters of floor space. We've fully racked it out so it can provide 14,400 pallet spaces of support to the logistics industry. Our customers are across sectors, across tech, across retail, 
across FMCG, across automotive. Ideal customers are ones with scale, so fairly substantial volume, complex inventory and high value inventory because we can deploy our systems and the specs of this site around those needs very, very effectively. The ALP facility at Tatu City is ideally suited to contract logistics. Being a grade A warehouse, it allows for FFS to provide the best level of service to the customer around the warehousing and transport operation. The facility qualities that ALP bring to the table for FFS are unrivaled in the region. And this allows us to give a different offering to the customer compared to everybody else in the market. ALP is ahead of the game in grade A warehousing. When FFS was looking for a operational distribution center for our contract logistics model, we looked at various places within the capital city Nairobi, as well as within the country of Kenya. And we settled on ALP at Statue City for a few specific reasons. Number one, the quality of the site. Number two, the location being based around the Nairobi orbital. And number three, the fact that the facility was designed for us to be able to put in a fully racked solution, which allows us to capitalize on space. No other facility in Kenya at the moment is able to do this for a distribution center model that we're trying to operate here. We started operations in January 2019 at this facility. And what happened immediately was customers were wowed by the specifications of the site. Initially, there was a, a sort of reluctance to be out here outside the capital city, but that reluctance within six to seven months has gradually worn away because the customers have began to understand that logistics centers need to be based outside of the general hub of the city. The design around the lighting is, is absolutely fantastic and you can see the way that it has been set up has been thought through. Here we find that we can work with the ambient lighting which reduces our costs because we don't have to put on lights and then we reduces our, our footprint which is also good for the environment. We would recommend ALP facilities to other companies purely because there's nobody else who has reached this standard in Kenya at this point in time. We're two to three years ahead of the curve. Other players have seen what ALP have done and they are in the market attempting to replicate. I would say ALP keep doing what you're doing. This is the direction for modern warehousing in Africa and you have the blueprint that you have brought in from your experience elsewhere. We need these kind of warehouses across the region. We need them in different counties in Kenya and you ALP have the footprint. We will support you and ensure that we move in the right direction together. ALP setting up in Tattoo City, which is a planned development, is a fantastic idea. Tattoo City has taken some time to pick up and we can start to see some of the sort of community coming into the area, so to speak, uh, as, we, as we enter into 2020. However, because we're in a community setup, the facilities are available uh, to the standard that the ALP warehouse requires. We're with like-minded individuals within a certain area, so we have potential customers, we've got a great road network, and we've got people who understand that this is the future of modern warehousing today. So we have a large number of consumer clients. The retail sector is quite big. The freight forwarders group is big in oil and gas, so we look at that sector quite closely. We also have customers in the agriculture sector or agribusiness sector, and finally, we also have customers in the technology sector. ALP have designed a facility with 14,000 square meters of trucks uh, yard space that allows us to be able to stage loads more efficiently, allows us to be able to offload uh, more efficiently from trade. So for example, we can offload a 40 foot palletized container within an hour. It also allows for us to be able to move vehicles in and out of the warehouse that can be able to do that. This space gives us efficiencies around a key component of logistics, which is turnaround. If your turnaround is not optimal, then you have delays. These delays cost money. This cost is passed on to the customer. The customer passes that cost to the end consumer. In theory, by reducing these costs, it should allow for the customer to offer better pricing to you when you arrive at the shop to purchase an item. 
That is a key thing that ALP has put into the design of this facility. An amazing amount of yard space allowing for an increased efficiency around movements of trucks on a daily basis. FFS is located at Tattoo City, ALP North facility. Come in and see us, we'll offer you a proper transport and warehousing solution.